Good morning. Good morning, everybody. And welcome to another beautiful day on planet Earth where we live this illusion together that we're creating with our minds and our hearts and our souls. And we make it count <laughs> for ourselves, for our friends and for our families, for our communities and for the universe. I want to talk about anxiety, something that I have struggled with my whole entire life and continue to. I know that it's a kind of common um, state of existence these days, especially um, with all of the ever-changing and ungrounding and um, just basically... Uh, transient letting go that we are continually presented with and um what i want to say is that there are a lot of things that cause our anxiety to surface one of them huge one of them is being things that we learned in our childhood um not all necessarily bad of course anxiety is a huge driving force for getting things done on the material plane um, but it's not a state of being in which your mind, body, and soul will be able to heal properly. And we are exposed to so many toxins now from birth, really, um, from before birth, because uh, the toxins that are coming in from our environment, not just from the chemicals, the pesticides, the fertilizers, the pharmaceuticals, the petroleum-based products, the plastics that have invaded even our food. Um, but the stress and the anxiety itself um, causing um, chemicals in our body that are just not sustainable for healing before we're even born. Our parents are experiencing this um, pressure and it affects their genetic makeup and that affects us. So as if coming into this world, being born and, you know, being part of that birthing process isn't stressful enough. Some of us have much more stressful um, experiences with that than others. And um, most of us can't remember what happened during that process. Um, but nonetheless, we can do things to reduce our anxiety and get back to a cathartic state of healing in everyday life. And I think that the first thing to do is to recognize that we need to heal and that we can heal um, and that no one else can do it for us. Only uh, ourselves are our greatest asset and tool for healing. Of course, there will be teachers and guides and they'll come in all different forms, all different ages. Um, and um, some will be more obvious than others. Um, but so many opportunities to learn how to heal ourselves. But um, I just want to mention that if you can stay in the present moment with whatever you are feeling and understand that that is not a permanent state, just like everything else, it will pass. And the good times, the bad times, they all have value. They're all fleeting. And this will hopefully catapult you into a state of gr uh, gratitude. And in that state of gratitude, you can begin to heal yourself, honestly, on a cellular level. Um, this is real. There's a ton of people talking about it. You've probably already been hearing about it. The power of the mind, the power of the heart. And I just want to encourage you to stay in that moment and dig deeper into those feelings and recognize um, what's going on for yourself because that truly is the beginning of being able to heal yourself from so, so, so many things. The mind and body are so powerful and they want to achieve homeostasis. Um, so allowing that to come forward is a personal choice and I believe in you, you can do it. <laughs> so have a great day. Thank you so much for listening.